Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can access and customize a resume template in Google Docs. So sign into Google Docs and then come over to Template Gallery and just click. And if you scroll down, you'll see CVs or resumes. You can choose from any of these. Let's just click on the first one. And now you're free to edit this resume. Now, for those of you who've never edited any templates before, it's quite simple. I'll just go through the different elements. So as you hover over different parts of the resume, you'll see that various little menus appear. And that's because the whole of this particular resume is a table. So if I click anywhere on my table or resume, go over to table options. If I go down to color and click on the drop down, and then on table border, which means all the border lines, if I just click on any one of these, and let's just click on a color, you can see this is exactly how that resume is laid out. Now you can leave the lines in for now just to allow you to edit this. Then you can simply come back to table border and then take this down to zero points and the border lines will vanish. So if we just keep those in at the moment, just so where we can see how all the text is laid out. So first of all, you're going to want to put your name in and clearly if you click and drag across that name, I will place my name in. Now, as you can see, when I've typed in my surname, it's changed the font and the font size. If I click on this top text here, it will tell me the font is railway and the size is 24. Now I could select all of this text here, go up to the font, scroll down, find railway, and then convert it to 24. Or I can simply click on the top text Go to this icon here which says paint format, click on it and it will paint the format across whatever you select now. So I've selected the surname and you can see now it's basically painted or copied the formatting here onto the formatting here. With this text here it's obviously got a colour. If you select all of this text and go over to text colour you can then select any colour you like and again we can do this with this one as well text color and just change the color of that text. Again, we'll do some more editing. And once you go through all this, you might want to change the actual text itself. So if I select all of this text here, you can go to the font here and change the font. You can also go to this font size tool here. If you click the add button, it will increase the size of your text in the ratio it's in. So this particular text here is bigger than this text here. But what it won't do, it won't put it all to one particular size. It will just increase the size by two or three or four points, depending on what you want, in ratio to where it was before. So that's another thing that you can do. These lines here are actually images. So if I click on it, you can tell it's an image because if I hover over these three dots, it says image options. If I click on it, it gives me options to size and rotate it, adjustments or all image options. If I click on all image options, I can go over to here and I can make some adjustments. However, if I go to recolor, it says no recolor. And that's because this is basically a JPEG of a black square. So if I pull this down, you can see it's simply a black square. However, if you wanted to recreate something like this, you can simply do it another way. I click here and just remove that. If you go to insert drawing and go to new, you'll have this little dialog box here. Simply go to actions, just go to shapes, click shapes and then the rectangle. I just click and drag out a rectangle. I'm gonna make it quite narrow. And then the border lines are already black and the fill color here, we change to black and then we just click save and close. And as you can see, we've got that line just there. Now it's a little bit thick, so if you click on it and want to make adjustments, just go to edit, go back to adjustments, click on it, and we can reduce the size a little bit more, save and close, and you can see it's made that adjustment. So you can replicate these lines if you want to, but the added benefit of doing it this way 
is you can of course when you edit it click on it you can of course change the color to any color you like let's change the border color and then click save and close if you want to add another row click on the row above go to this add symbol here and you can see it says insert one row below click on that and you've inserted a brand new row if you want to delete a row simply select the row right click go down to delete row and it will completely delete that row if at any time you've made a mistake you can go up to the undo button or you can hit command or control z on your keyboard i'm just going to delete this row there we go and the same if you want to add another column let's just say to this row here you can get rid of this image here just press delete right click on the cell go down to split cell and it would ask you how many columns you want in your cell you want to maintain one row just click on the up arrow split into two and click split and now you can see that's been split into two and now you can put some additional information in here once again i'm going to paint this text Okay, so now you can go down the resume and you can simply add, delete and customize all of these different elements. So once you've finished, you can go up to use this zoom tool. Let's just go down to 75 and you'll be able to see your entire page. Once you're completely happy with it, go back to table properties. If you don't know how to get to there, just make sure you click somewhere in the table. Go to table options, go down to this color menu here. Go down to this menu here, click on the drop down and select this one, zero points, and then you will take out those border lines. Once you're happy with this, then you can download it. Go to File, Download, and you can either download it as a Microsoft Word document or a PDF. Obviously, if you download it as a PDF, and then you can go ahead and email this. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.